Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. So for today's episode, we are looking at how to look taller and edgy chic all at the same time. Yes, I think that's like the trifecta, isn't it? Mm, well, I guess it's it's my trifecta, but. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. If I'm being honest, I don't actually actively think about looking taller on a regular basis. I'm 5'5", five five and I basically am like right smack dab in the middle of like the average height. So I'm not short or petite, but I'm not tall. I'm like right there in the middle. But I do think um, by default, I prefer styling things that lengthen and elongate versus shorten. So I've kind of figured out the things that I go for that do elongate and lengthen my body to kind of give that, you know, taller appeal that a lot of people are going for. For me personally, I don't think you have to be taller. I don't think you have to look taller. I think if you are petite or, you know, average height like myself, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking average height or looking petite. But I think, yeah, I think for people that are shorter or petite, uh, I do think, yeah, they, they wanna look a little bit taller and I get it. Like I'm 5'5 five five and there's times where yes, I wanna look taller too. So if you do wanna look taller, if you do feel like you could use a little bit of lengthening, then today is your video. I'm gonna go through just a few of my tips on how I like to style to add that length and to feel taller, but with keeping my edgy chic style as well, with keeping that at the forefront as well, because I never wanna lose that. So these are just sort of the tips that help me to maintain all of that. So with that, I think we should get started, yeah. Okay, so number one is black on black. Ooh, yes. So for those of you who have been following for a while, you know this girl loves her black and I love black on black. Like a lot of the days you will see me wearing black on black on black. Yep, even in the summertime. If you saw my all black monochrome capsule wardrobe for this last summer, you know, I like my black. For me, it's not just because, yeah, it's moody and it's edgy and whatever. I think black is great for just functional purposes because it doesn't show dirt, all that. But along with that, black to me is very elongating. It's very chic. It's very just slimming even. So I think all around, it's a very flattering color. Little scientific things is black doesn't actually reflect color. It doesn't reflect light. So ultimately it is going to be a little bit more, give a little bit more depth. It's not going to look bigger than it is. Um, whereas white can sometimes do that. White can actually, because white reflects light and all that. So it can actually look bigger than it is. If I've, I've done this little experiment before where if you look at a black square and a white square that are the exact same size, the white square will actually look bigger than the black square. So if you are head to toe black on black, it's ultimately gonna give like a slimming and lengthening effect. What it does is it ends up drawing the eye upwards to your face, to your head. And in that effect, again, is going to lengthen. So one of my favorite black on black tips is black boots with black bottoms, black pants, black jeans, because ultimately you're gonna have more of that elongating because your eye is never gonna stop. It's all gonna go, you know, all connect. You're gonna have that that double effect of that length. If you don't believe me, try it out. Uh, maybe do like an all black look, take a picture of it, and then do like an all white look or like an, just like a multicolor look and see if you feel like you look taller. Try it out and let me know how it goes. And let me know if you think I was right or if I was wrong. Number two is show your waistline. Show your waistline. I've been, I, this is a firm thing that I believe for just so many different things. I think it's more flattering. I think it's more elongating. I think it's more feminine. I just, I love it. So high rise jeans, high rise bottoms, pants, skirts, whatever it may be, your shirt tucked into the front, doing a full tuck, uh, maybe it's a crop top, but ultimately showing that waistline whenever you can. Obviously there are times and places that it's not gonna work, but yes, always showing that waistline because it is going to basically elongate your legs. And I think the biggest thing to look taller 
is to, to lengthen the legs. The legs are the easy go-to thing when, when we're trying to look taller. So if you go high-waisted, it's going to extend your hip line, your, your curves, extend those legs. So there's just, there's just lots of reasons to show your waistline. So just do it, okay? No, and I get it. Some people aren't comfortable with it and fair enough, that's fine. You can do any of these other tips and you'll be you'll be good to go. But this is definitely one of my favorite. Along with that wearing high rise bottoms, you can then wear the cropped inseams, especially if you're somebody that is shorter or petite. A lot of times they wanna wear the things that are cropped. If you go high waisted and you show that waistline, that's when you can crop your bottoms because you've added in that length so it's not going to be cutting you off now if you wore it low on the hip and you wore them cropped then yes that's going to really cut off that proportion and make you look a lot shorter than you already are so you want to stay away from that but adding in that length in the rise will help to add to that proportion number three is tapered bottoms Mm -hmm. This is probably why a lot of people love skinny jeans so much because of that tapering effect. Tapering for sure elongates just because you are drawing the eye down. Tapering, anything that's pointed is going to elongate. People say the same thing about like pointed shoes. Pointed shoes are going to elongate. So again, just another little tool to keep in mind. Number four is skin tone and skin tight. Mm -hmm. This one might be a little bit more difficult to do because obviously you've got to find things that are your skin tone that are going to match your skin tone and this is definitely a great tool for shoes so um, having shoes that are skin toned are always going to elongate the foot elongate your look because it will basically blend in with your leg it'll give that elongating effect that won't cut your leg off at a at a certain point along with that i think skin toned pants are really elongating as well and very flattering it's going to draw that eye all the way through there's kind of like the black on black if you have the skin toned shoes and the skin toned pants you'll be even more of an elongating effect but also i do think that this color choice is very elegant is very chic number five is drop crotch bottoms yes not the best wording i have to say it's like i wish we could think of better wording for it but i get it they are drop crotch bottoms that's what they're doing so i would say these aren't going to be the best choice probably for people that have shorter legs this is definitely going to be a great choice for people that have a shorter torso because of that length it's lengthening your torso it's lengthening the body and actually has a very slimming effect as well and i'd say if you are worried about it making your legs look a little bit shorter maybe wear it with like some heeled boots or any other heels maybe with some platforms even with wearing them with flats to me I always feel a lot more lengthy when I wear my drop crotch bottoms I love this because it is very edgy it's a very cutting edge look I think because it's very bold it adds that stylistic appeal that a lot of us are after so you can add these with any sort of basics and you're going to elevate the look number six is framing so this is something I've spoke to before about kind of compartmentalizing. So I think this combines a few different things that I've already talked about. When you have a look where you're showing your waistline, so maybe it's a high-waisted pair of jeans with a, with a top, and then you pair it with a layering piece that's open. So whether that's a cardigan, a blazer, a jacket, maybe it's a long coat, maybe it's a duster cardigan, but it definitely works best with mid to long length. It doesn't necessarily work with like a short layer because you're still kind of keeping those two compartments you're not kind of gritting it out where you have the bottom, the top, and then your framing piece, framing those two. It connects everything. Adding in something that's a little bit longer, so going with like a long duster cardigan will definitely bring in that drama and will definitely lengthen as well. Number seven is vertical stripes. One of my favorites, that is for sure. A lot of you probably know that this girl loves her some black and white vertical stripes for sure, especially when it comes to pants. My power pants that just make me feel like a fierce female is my black and white vertical stripe pants. Obviously when you have those vertical stripes, it is drawing the eye upwards versus to the side or anywhere else, especially if you're wearing it on your legs, it's going to elongate those legs. But at the same time, it's super bold, it's super edgy, it's super stylistic. So it's gonna basically punch up that edgy vibe, that edgy style real quick. 
And what I love to do is pair these then with things that are a little bit more basic so that I'm not distracting from the vertical stripes. I want the vertical stripes to be the kind of showpiece, to be the pop, to really give the most effect of that vertical stripe. And ultimately with that balance comes that chic vibe because you just got a perfect little marriage of contrasting pieces that ultimately give you that elevated chic style. So right there, wrapped up in a little bow, is my go-to ultimate um, edgy chic outfit that makes me look taller or elongates. So it doesn't have to be black and white bold vertical stripes. It can definitely be any other sort of vertical stripes. All right, my beautiful fashion friends. So that was my take on looking taller, on adding length. So hopefully it was helpful. Maybe there was something new in there. So definitely comment below and uh, let me know what you thought of today's video. If there's any questions that you have, you know what to do if you did like today's episode. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And make sure to click that little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. Okay. Well, you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.